Wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have an asymmetric battle by Camo, 1962. Camo is on the e EU server. The EU server, yes. Um, Camo 1962 is actually submitted this gameplay, which is actually pretty t funny because there's a ship called the Janan. Pan Asian. Well, it's a Pan Asian cruiser. And it's sort of like best described as what? I suppose maybe like a San Diego, Atlanta, or Flint with steroids. Because like the guns are pretty good. The firepower on this thing is pretty fairly decent. The torps themselves are deep water. Now they can hit like cruisers, battleships, and carriers. And I'm not entirely sure why you're shooting the arm, mate. What's that? What's what's what are you showing the arm for? Is there something that you don't like there? I mean, they have feelings, you know, on this hotspot domination, man. As they know, there could be people out there. <laughs> nah, in all seriousness, though, he probably is preparing a barbecue there for us anyway. Um, in all seriousness, though, the Janan is actually a very good ship. It's got depth charges, it's got smoke, it's got defensive AA, torp reload booster. Which is pretty nice, uh, and it's got heals as well. It's a very good ship overall. It also has uh, HE and AP shells. Very nice uh, composition for this warship. This ship is actually one of the many that I have my eyesights on this one actually. And I have to say, it's actually very rare I see a good gameplay of the Jinan actually. But it's actually very good to see that people are having a go at it. So it looks like that Camo 1962 is just going out there casually having fun. Uh, I have to say that he's actually just doing it for the sake of it. And look at those tall thread. One, two, three, four, five times two is 10. He's got smoke up and running. He's got HE loaded. He's gonna line up on that Bismarck and start spamming the hell out of it. Or the hippo. Or the Bismarck. <laughs> it's a huge arc on this ship, it's funny. Oh, look at that, it's top spread. The hippo's probably gonna take one on the nose. Wow, it did too. Alright, big old. There's Camo, let's go. Oh. Come on, big old camo. Let's go. Get him. Fire. Yes, nice. Has he DCP'd it? No, he hasn't. Oh, here we go. Let the fun begin. Nice, he's actually swapping out his torps and shooting between the two. Alternating. Nice kill. On the hipper. Now he's moving over towards uh, Bismarck and he's turning around to shoot the other side. While getting out of his smoke. It's actually impressive, you know, you can fire up to 20 torpedoes. Then, don't forget the other... He did use a... Now, uh, well, sorry, let me rephrase that. He could, he could, you know, fire up 20 torpedoes, but he just used a reload booster as well, too, just now, so that's unreal. He's really farming these guys down the town. Those torps are looking good. And he's turning around again. I think he's going to aim for the, the, the hybrid ship in a second here. Man, Camo is going to have a field day with us. Nebraska. Oh yeah. Nebraska with secondaries. No, just kidding. Nebraska. Good ship to get as well. Oh. He's getting hammered here. Ooh. Defensive AA is coming to play. 
Oof, that looks like it hurt. He's rehealing himself and smoking. Yeah, the one thing about these bots and astrometric valves, they have improved a bit. And it's actually kind of funny that people said it was too hard, this game mode. I have to laugh. I really do. Because it's not that hard at all, really, in comparison to um, random battles or ranked. Because random battles, ranked, or brawls, you're up against real people. A the AI in astrometric battles has just basically been buffed up. In court mode, it's just like, yeah, whatever, and same with operations. So, the funny thing is with estimated battles is that if your ship is broadside, on a certain angle, the AI will go like, ah, oh, yes, he's shown, you know, you know, your broadside, and this is what I'm going to do. Well, this is interesting now, I just noticed. He's fired torps towards the two cruisers. Oh, torps didn't come. And that finger will hit his torps will get in range of him. But he might hit. I don't know. Hard to tell now, hard to tell. He's not firing his guns though, and he's just letting his torps do it all work. He's healed up again. Those torps are looking very good on one of the cruisers. <laughs> he's open firing. Oh, what a hit. Beautiful kill on the Evermar. But uh, Kemo coughed a bit of a blow there on his own. Nice, though. Great maneuvering. He smoked up and he slowed down a bit. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, a lot of people min uh, whinged about uh, asymmetric battles. That was too hard. Me personally, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand why. I mean, because I don't understand why is it so hard. Because like it's easy. It, it, well, okay. I play tier eight to ten on asymmetric battles, and I find it easy to do. Whereas you play on like say for example tier five and six or. Uh, seven sometimes there will be times that you'll face like uh, a battle that was a bit too again too one-sided but you actually can do well in it furthermore you can actually stuff up in a tier 8 to 9 and 10 battle anyway on astromatic battles there's no ambiguity whatsoever wow that's a huge cooldown in torpedo reload but yeah it's just amazing that is going on. Camus has got himself angled. He's just trying to find find shots of the monarch, and he's doing a good job of firing torps that way. He's fired one salvos, and now he's going to turn around the ship and do it again. Oh, nice hit! Beautiful kill. Mm, okay. Oh, big shells coming in. Oh, missed. Just. Oh, missed. Just. Yeah, that's just unreal, man. Let's see, how are we going? Hmm. 
Hmm. There's three ships left. Caroline, Richelieu, and Cherbourg. And three le ships left in his team, which is the Moskva, Janan, and Kurfest. One each, why not? Oh, Kenway's gonna get his torp ready. T minus three seconds. He's fired his barrage already. And. He's not in range of the any other ships though. So the top range of this thing is actually pretty damn impressive. But here we go. He's actually moving in position again. This is going to be some incredible top crossing right here. Oh, he's slowed down. He's got to be detected. Kerfus is moving in the position over an A. The first wave of Tors is going to miss this guy completely. The second wave and third wave is going to miss as well too. That's some beautiful hits there, bud. Cherbourg's hanging down. Ooh, and then there were two. Hmm. Looks like Camo and the Kerfus are gonna both gonna go to the cap and take uh, the A and the B cap before they push on towards the uh, further south. But it looks like the Kerfus is deliberately moving forward. Hmm. Tops are looking good. Looking very, very nice. He's actually done it very well though, just by looking at it. He's actually positioned himself so well done. It's like, it's phenomenal. All oh, those torps are looking great on that Richelieu. That Richelieu is going to cop at least two. <laughs> Very nice. And they took him out as well too, even better. But that is actually not bad for over 142k worth of damage there. Um, the rewards is a little bit less than, you know, what we used to, but that is actually some impressive, you know, gameplay there with the Torp hits, um, uh, also four kills, eight set on fires, seven floods, nine defended, uh, for the capture points, and as well as the, uh, air, four aircraft shot down, spotted at least four, and he's done very well, you know, overall, well done. Great gameplay there, Camo. But uh, yes, definitely. Astromedic Battles, folks. Um, one brief thing about Astromedic Battles, even though it is a little bit challenging, try and check it out. Have fun with it because it's actually not bad, honestly. It's actually pretty cool and it's fun and engaging. But uh, yeah, folks, um, definitely a great gameplay all around there. And um, much appreciated there, Camo. Thank you so much. And Camo, by the way, is just a normal uh, dude just playing the game and having fun. He's not a streamer, though. 
But uh, when he's in the channel, though, feel free to give him credit where it's due. Great gameplay, Camo. Well done, mate. Thanks again for submitting that. And uh, folks, thanks again uh, for checking out these videos. And uh, we'll definitely will uh, keep you in today, up to date. But have a good Christmas and New Year. And happy Thanksgiving, folks, as well, too. All right, folks, have a good weekend or week yet to come. Take care, all.